Hi, welcome to my Yoga Stretch Fusion class. I'm Jennifer Wagner with Collective Wellness. Today is standing only, so we will not get down the floor at any time. You can use a chair if you wish and just sit on the edge of it or use for balance. Make sure to exercise within your ability and if you experience any difficulty, stop, seek a physician right away. All right, let's get started. Find that space, get the chair if you need one, and then meet me back here. Welcome back to my Yoga Stretch Fusion. Today is the standing only class. We're going to start off in Mountain Pose, feet hip width apart. You're going to line your hips, knees, and ankles all up together and toes are straight forward. Nice and tall through your spine, palms opening up, eyes gently closed. As we center ourselves with our mind and body, inhale, exhale. Letting everything go. Leave all your stress, all your worries at the door. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your hands together into Namaste, centering with your chest. Open your eyes, inhale, reach for the sky as high as you can go. Exhale, pushing away. Inhale, coming up. Center, exhale. Now we're gonna go forward, inhale. Open up wide, exhale. Come back together, inhale. Center, exhale. Back up. Exhale, push away. Inhale, reverse. Center, exhale, inhale, open, exhale, closing, and center. You're going to sweep your arms up and around as you arch your back like a cat, tailbone under, chin is tucked. Then you're going to come up and out, open your back up into cow, tailbone out, chin is out, chest is lifted. All right, we're going to go back and forth, one breath. One movement. Exhale, cat, round out the back, arms go around. Inhale, cow, tailbone out. Good. Again. One more time each. Open wide and relax. Okay, inhale up. Sitting down into chair pose, tailbone back. Knees are straight forward, abdominals pulled in, back is flat. Inhale up. Again, chair pose. You can have your arms extended or hands together like I do, whichever works for you. You're gonna go in and out of the chair. As we begin to warm our bodies up more through the legs now. There you go. Again. Last time, you're gonna hold and share. Pull your abdominals in. We're gonna do pulse now, so do little movements. Check the knees, make sure that they're straight forward and behind the toes. So I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see what I mean. When it comes to behind the toes, I can wiggle my toes because the weight is towards the back. Keep pulsing, feel that, build up, feel the burn, good burn. Three two and release Good. arms together palms together sway side to side lifting up keeping your hips center keeping the weight center inhale exhale and release feet out wide we're going to go into windmill 
You can turn your toes out a little bit if you wish. Start with both arms straight up, keeping your legs straight. Go to the right first, reaching as far as you can, and then dropping down. Sweep to the left, reaching as far as you can. We're gonna switch directions so we don't get dizzy. One more time each. Last time. And release. Turning your toes and knees out. So you're turning into a plie. We're going to go down into that plie and pushing back. Down. You can have your arms come out if you'd like. So today, we're going to be constantly moving. The heart rate should be up with these exercises because we're not stopping much. And you're going to feel those muscles burning as we move in and out of the poses. Make sure those knees and toes stay turned out. Hips are open. We're going to add on to this. Go ahead and come down into plie, and then you're going to give your arms like a football goal. So, 90 degree angle. We're going to rock side to side, activating your obliques. Crunch, crunch. And then you're going to add that plie pulse. So, you're going to go deeper into that plie as you crunch. Good. Keep those knees turned out. Strong arms. Now we're going to reach. Crunch. Good. Keep going. A lot of strength, a lot of movement. Let's do one more time each. And release. Good job. Shake it out. Go ahead and turn to the side, stepping towards the front of your mat. Inhale, reaching for the sky. Swan dive down. Good. It's monkey pose. Downward dog, walk your feet back. Fingertips are spread. Distribute the weight between your hands and your feet. And then you're going to pedal through the downward dog. Back is straight. Head between your arms if you can. And then pushing the heel as you push down and then push the knee forward as you go forward. Distribute the hand weight so we're not putting our weight just into the heel of our hand. Go into the fingertips also. Good. Keep pedaling. Shoulders away from your ears. Now press both heels down, both heels up as high as you can. Push down, up. You can always do this when your hands are on a chair if it's too much too. Or you can even do dolphin where you're on your forearms. Whichever, I'm gonna get back into hands. Whichever works best for you. Up and down, push the heels. One more, and down, hold for a couple breaths. Inhale, exhale. Go ahead and walk your feet forward. You can bend your knees if you need to. And then curl yourself up. Good. Take a step back with your right foot. Heel is straight up. Your front toes are straight forward. You're gonna roll your hip under, and then we're gonna go down into the lunge and up, good. Now we're gonna start with just that basic lunge, and then arms are gonna come up. What we're gonna do is you're going to twist up, twist up, 
twist. Twist as you go down. Reach as you come up. Arms extended out as you go back. Pull. Good. Out. And pull. Let's do one more time each. One more from this point. Whoop, whoop. Coming up, relax those arms, push the back heel to the floor. I want you to really feel that all the way down into the feet. And then you're going to come up and then push down. Up, push down. Up, push down. And then from here, I'm going to adjust my foot a little bit. We're going to push the knee forward and back. Push the knee forward and back as you feel the quads start to activate. Knee forward, back, forward, and back. Let's do it one more time. Come back, drop the knee, lift the chest as we go to go into sun salute, lifting the chest up, rocking the hips back and then reaching for the sky. We're going to hold one breath, inhale. Exhale, release. Shake it out. We're going to switch sides. Step back. Heel straight up. Start with that lunge. Down and up. Hip is under, shoulders back. Your shoulders and hips are stacked. Back heel is straight up, so we're not pushing on the heel. Adding on, you're going to crunch and open. Crunch, open. Make sure that back knee goes straight down with each lunge. Good. Keep breathing. Pause if you need to. Go into what works best for you. Last ones. Coming up. Relax those arms. I can adjust my foot just a little bit. Okay, now press the heel down and up. Press the heel down. Inhale, really push down, feel that into the foot, all the way up into the back of the knee. Oh, this one takes a lot of challenge. Get that chair if you need one. Let's do one more. All right, bring that knee forward and back. If you need to adjust your footing, go ahead. Sometimes if you feel like you're Foot slid a little bit, pushing that knee forward, reach back, push, activating those quads. Good. Inhale, shoulders and hips stack still, exhale. Let's <clears throat> do a few more. You got this, keep it going. And then push that heel down. And then bring the heel back up. We're going to drop the knee down into sun salute as you lift the chest up. Hinge the hips back, reaching for the sky. Sun salute. Inhale. Feel that open up through the hip flexors. Exhale. And release. Good job. Shake it out. We're going to give those legs a little bit of a rest and get some upper body movement in. Start with your hands out to the side, palms facing down. You're going to relax the elbows, extend to this fingertips. Relax the elbows, extend. Reaching beyond those fingertips. Feel the shoulders, upper body warming up. 
activating those muscles. We are going to work those postural muscles, help you lose 10 pounds by just correcting your posture, the illusion of the loss of 10 pounds. There you go. Extending straight out, turn your thumbs straight up and you're going to pulse back, pulse back. So it's a little movement, little movement. Shoulders stay down. Even though we're working the shoulders, they do not come up. You're going to activate the back of the shoulders and your upper back muscles all through the traps, the rhomboids, all those muscles that are going to start firing up. Okay, now pull the elbows down and back. Pull those elbows down and back. There you go, relax the neck. Still pulsing. Okay. Three, two, extend. Hold on, hold on. Okay, thumbs still up, pulse up. So they're right at the top of the shoulder. Three, two, hold on with me, hold on. We're going to open, so thumb back, back to straight. So thumb up, thumb back, rotating through that shoulder joint, activating those rotator muscles. Now, if you need to take a break, that's okay. Join back in. But the idea is as you do more and more of this, go ahead and release, the easier that will get. Shake it out. All right, when you go back out with those arms, you're going to push back. And then I want you to imagine you have magnets working against each other as you strong arm to back together. And then you're gonna open back out and then squeeze those back muscles out, opening up the chest muscles. So stretch in the chest as we squeeze those back muscles. And then magnets against each other as you come together. Fight, 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 activating. And then you're gonna come back out and then squeeze the back muscles as you open up the chest. There you go. Let's do one more time. Fight, fight, fight with those magnets. And then open up the eye. And then arms straight back out and then rotate. And release, shake it out. Whew. Go ahead and just kind of let those arms go. And then cross. We got one more left for the arms. Arms straight out in front, shoulders relax. You're going to pull. I want you to imagine like you're rowing a boat, pull, and then push away. Pull back. Pull, activating those muscles. It's very easy just to go through the motion, but I want you to imagine you're really pushing and really going through. Activating those muscles. There you go. Again. This time, pull back and hold and pulse. Pulse. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. Shoulders are down, away from the ears. Neck is long. Now, elbows right out to the sides. 90 degree angle in the elbows. You're going to rotate out and back. Now, I want you to make sure that you're not going to lead with the hands. That shoulder is the primary movement. Hands follow. So you want to avoid trying to lead with the hands. There you go. Good. Last one. And release. Shake it out. Good. Okay, swing those arms out just like an elephant's trunk. Feet just about outside of hip width apart. Toes are forward. Go ahead and tuck the chin. 
and just swing it out. Just let those shoulders go. Just kind of let them swing forward as they go to the side. Nice and loose. Legs are straight. Inhale. Exhale. Make that rocking motion smaller and smaller until you center. Arms just hanging. Sh chin is tucked. Let those shoulders go. Inhale. Exhale. Cross your arms across each other. Hands come to your opposite shoulder like you're giving yourself a hug. Let those shoulders drop down. Still holding on to that upper body position, start to curl yourself up, pressing one elbow forward and then the other. So you're rocking it out as you curl up. Pressing an elbow forward and the other one forward. Lifting those elbows up as you rock and curl up. A little bit at a time. Good. Feel that through the rib cage, through the shoulder. Keep going. You bring your hands to your elbows, lifting up and away. Good. Maybe come down just a little bit, curving the back, pushing. So your elbow is pushing away as you rock and then push that elbow down. Feel that through the rib cage. Go ahead and push away and then lift the elbow now. Push away and lift the elbow. Knees are bent, round up the back, elbows up and out. One more time each. And release. Bring your hands behind your back or imagine you have a ball that you're holding onto. Chest is open, shoulders down, ears back. Bring your hands away from the back. Okay. Opening up the chest. I'm gonna turn to the side. I'm gonna have you start to hinge forward, keeping your legs straight but knees soft. Hands are going to come up and over towards your head as you drop your head down. Shoulders still back. Pull your elbows towards each other. And then dropping down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Slowly work your way up, hands dropping down toward your back again as you curl up. And then bring one arm across, pulling in and across, shoulder down, so that through the shoulder and the scapula. Inhale. Exhale. Right hand to your back, lift your elbow up and back. Relax through the neck. Inhale. Exhale. Release. Left arm. Pull across and in. Shoulders down. And then right left hand to your left shoulder. Lifting up and back. Relax through the neck. Inhale. Go ahead and bring your feet out wide, shifting to the right, pressing your left inner thigh into the floor. Feel that through the inner thigh and groin. Good. 
Flexing your left foot, rotate through the hip and shifting your hip a little further to the right as you feel that in the hip more. Go ahead and turn towards that leg, watch the knee, make sure it doesn't drop in and then you're gonna lower it down. And toes lower down. back to the front, lunge to the left, right inner thigh pushing down, left hip pushing out and back, inhale, make sure that toes and knees are staying lined up, flex your right foot, if you want to go further, rotate the hip, shifting your hip a little bit further, as you press in your right leg, thigh down, Turn, watch that knee, make sure it doesn't collapse, reaching down, feel that through the right leg, toes down, curling up, and center. Feet are hip width apart, we're going to go into a forward bend, tuck your chin first, and then just work your way down. Arms and shoulders hang down. Inhale. Exhale. Knees are soft, but legs are straight. Going down as far as you can. Chin is tucked. Feel this through the hamstring. Calves, hips, back. Chin is tucked. Inhale. Exhale. Just hang out right there. If your hands are really hanging on the floor, you can take your hands to your opposite elbow. That way you still kind of have room to drop further. And just let your body release. Letting everything go as you go further into that stretch. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. Start to curl yourself up, chin is still tucked, pressing your spine to the sky, arms hanging, exhale, inhale, Go into Fountain Pose, palms facing forward, shoulders relaxed, eyes gently closed. Use this time to slow our heartbeat down, slow our mind down, shoulders release, inhale. Exhale. You deserve this time. You worked really hard. Your body should be fatigued from working all those muscles. You deserve this time. Slowly open your eyes. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. One more time. And exhale. And namaste. Thank you so much for joining my class. I hope you liked it. If you want notifications for more classes, just click on that little picture of me. I post a new class every week. Thank you for coming. Come back again.